Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 48. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to connect to DB2 database in single user only mode. This slide talks about the problem and solution. The problem statement is we want to connect to a DB2 database in a single user only mode. So what I mean by that is uh, we will be connecting to the database in an exclusive mode. So no other uh, users will be allowed to connect to the database. So even though the other user has SysADM or DBADM access, so he cannot connect to the database, but he obviously because of the uh, SysADM authority, he can uh, force the applications, uh, like force my particular connection off from the uh, database, but uh, he cannot connect to the database. So it's like a single user connection. Okay, so it, it is not shared with anybody else. Okay, so it's like that. Uh, so how to do that? The solution is very simple. It's a very simple connect command only. Connect to DB name. You have to use the option in exclusive mode. After that, you can uh, give the user username and using password class. So the keyword is in exclusive mode. Okay, and there is a precondition for it. Like. Uh, the database should not be active either implicitly or explicitly when we try to acquire a connection in an exclusive mode. So if the database is already active, then it will be active in a shared mode, right? So we obviously cannot uh, connect to the database in an exclusive mode. So that request will be denied, okay? So let's just quickly uh, get into the uh, examples as usual. So here I have in uh, terminal one, I will connect to uh, uh, a sample database like test database okay so this is like implicitly it will activate the database right so this is like implicit activation okay so after that I go and say in terminal 2 connect to test in exclusive mode user Ubuntu using Ubuntu okay so Ubuntu is just a normal user uh, so I go to terminal 2 okay enter so obviously so the the connection cannot be established because it is already active right so what I do in terminal one, I go and do connect reset. Then I explicitly activate the database. Okay, in terminal one. Okay. So connect reset is done. Then I'm explicitly activating the database. So once I explicitly activate, again I go to terminal two and I try to uh, connect in an exclusive mode. Okay. So this will also be obviously uh, denied. Okay. So uh, so that is the scenario that we are uh, talking. And in terminal one, I go and deactivate the uh, database. Okay. So now the database is not active either implicitly or explicitly. Now in terminal two, I'll go and I'll again do the same thing. Okay. So I, I'm going to establish a connection here. So now this connection is granted uh, in exclusive mode for user Ubuntu. He's not like a SysADM or DBADM like that. He's just simple app user like that. Okay. Uh, so he is able to connect in exclusive mode. So when the exclusive mode connection is there, no other person. See now in terminal one, I try to connect. Okay. So this terminal one, I am like in DB2 INST one, right? So a SysADM user, he is also not able to connect because already the database is active and it is active in an exclusive mode. See here, exclusive mode. So that is very important. Okay. Now obviously because of SysADM, he can force my application. So let me, let me go to terminal one and I say like, you know, force application solve. Okay. So when I come here, so when I say list tables, so the connection will not be active. So you can say db2 get connection state like that. Okay. Uh, let me just, so I have forced it. So list tables. See it's so it's not able so my application has been forced right uh, i can even say like db2 list active databases so the database will not be active right so because the application was forced so if the application was not forced then you can see that uh, the connect to test in exclusive mode is very very restrictive it will allow only one user to connect nobody else can connect even though is dbadm or ccadm so hope this information was useful to you. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel DB2LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.